and death moving legends and current world wrestling federation superstars. Give it up for the fabulous winner and my man. I never thought I'd be cheering for two old ladies, but God, I hope they beat them bad. As we see the fabulous Moolah and Mae Young, two of the all-time legends of professional wrestling. Fabulous Moolah winning the World Women's title in 1958. That's five years before the WWF was even formed. She held the title for 26 straight years. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is the fabulous Mula, and I would like to say I am so happy to be here to see some of my friends and fans that I've had for many, many years. And I hope it'll be many, many years more that I'll be around to see you all. I love you. May Young. Because I hear you saying chili puppies. It's nice to be here. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, man, we want to see the puppies. Come on. Oh, boy. When you show your puppies, you look in the mirror and you won't do it again. Give it up for the fabulous man on Mary Hand in Peoples, Pennsylvania. Dr. Feelgood, maybe after the show we can hook up with Mae and Mula. Well, uh, actually, they're pretty cute looking now that I see them in person. <laughs> so, fabulous Mula holding the title for 26 years. Then she came back to win it again in 1988. And again, last year in 1999, a full 41 years after she won the belt the first time. Mae Young... It's amazing. We're going to see these two in there with sugar and spice as Moolah locks up with the fairy godfather. You know, truthfully, I, I really don't ever care who faces sugar and spice as long as they beat them. And you guys now have a top claim to that title since you won that four-way dance. You really should be getting a title shot pretty soon. There's not a lot of doubt. When we get a shot, we're walking out with the straps. And this is a non-title match. So what is Moolah doing to the fairy godfather's skirt? Oh, boy. I don't think Moolah and Mae Young, in all of their many, many years in the sport, have wrestled anybody like the Sugar and Spice team. I'm thinking that uh, Mae and Mae Young are probably uh, a little more manly than the uh, Fairies, I think. Nice knee lift by Moolah as she starts to beat down the Fairy Godfather. And the hoes at ringside are saying, oh, you stop. Big right hand by Moolah, and down goes the Fairy. That was real good there, Jeff Gorman. Uh, seems like you might have done that before. A little too good. I shouldn't have said that, should I? And now choking the fairy out with his own skirt. And now a tag to, the f to Mae Young. Mae Young, who started her career in the late 30s, and now she's smooching the fairy godfather. That's probably the last thing he wants. That's probably, actually, it's probably the first time he's ever been kissed by a woman. I think so. And now she's hugging him. I can't believe this display of affection that's really taking the fairy out of his game. Hey, what's up with that? It seems like he kind of likes it. And he does kind of like it, and Tyrone Sanford is scolding him. I gave him a little slap in the face. Looks like a little lover's quarrel here, kids. I think so. Mae Young began her career in the late 30s. She was wrestling when World War II broke out, and she has the distinction of wrestling in eight different decades, as we are now in the year 2000. Unbelievable, the career that Mae has, and what a left hand by Mae Young. And it's amazing that she's even walking after being put through tables on two different occasions by the Dudley Boys. The Freebirds, we don't say a lot of good things about a lot of people, but we got nothing but respect for Man Mula. Definitely. Five, six, yeah, look at this. They're taking a beating. And you know what? I think that the uh, fairy godfather would like to get back here and have some more of that action. I think he would. May and Mula looking very good against Tyrone Sanford of Sugar and Spice. Remember, the tag team belt's not on the line in this one as Sanford rakes the eyes of May Young. How low is that to rake the eyes of a woman? I mean, come on. And now Sanford beating on a woman who's old enough to be his grandma. May down in the corner. Sanford showing no mercy on May Young, and it looks like Fairy Godfather kind of likes May Young. That's a big surprise considering what we know about uh, Sugar and Spice. We got sexual chocolate. Here comes the Fairy Godfather. You know what I'm saying? Snap mare by May Young as she takes Tyrone Sanford over. Mula and May working very well as a team. I still can't get over these male hoes at ringside, especially the one with the enormous beehive hairdo. I may never get aroused again. This is this whole match is just the complete opposite of Viagra. They could sell that on the internet. 
may continue to stomp away on Tyrone Sanford. As these two, as we heard May, uh, Mula before the match saying that they're going to keep going strong. They hope to wrestle for several more years. Sanford seems to be blinded here. He needs to tag to the ferry. As May lays in another shot to the gut. Casanova, I can't believe we lost to these people. Sugar and spicy. Accidents happen, but it'll never happen again. What's May going to do now? Is she going for the Bronco Buster? I, I think she might be setting up for it. Oh, I think she's going for it. She's got him in the position. No, she's going to tag the fabulous Mula. Mula, who has defeated just about every woman who's ever stepped into the ring in the last half decade. Two, and a kick out there. Every woman from Sherry Martell, Wendy Richter, Ivory, Mula has beaten them all. Ivory, you remember that time with that girl named Cleo? Yeah, I'd like to get a chance to wrestle Ivory again myself. Now, Tyrone Sanford. Back in the corner as Mula continues to lay some shots in and now stomping away at Tyrone Sanford, who really desperately needs a tag. In fact, it was just last year that Mula won the WWF women's title. And here comes May. We can see the Bronco Buster. Are we going to see it? No, not yet. She's really trying to beat Sanford into that corner. Doesn't look like Sanford wants to be anywhere around for that Bronco Buster. And a low blow on May Young. Wait a minute, why does that hurt? Yeah. I can't figure that one out. But Sanford now stomping on May Young. I've pushed on some women pretty hard there and it's hurt them before. May trying to fight back. This is just terrible. I mean, come on. These guys can't even handle two women. I, I, again, I can't believe we lost to these guys. But you should be getting another shot at him pretty soon. As Sugar and Spice trying to put away these two legends. Are we going to see the Fairy Godfather back in there? No, May Young whipped into her own corner and a tag to Mula, and here comes the Fairy. And the Fairy seems to be a little bit uh, frightened of Mula. Now all four people in the ring. And Sugar and Spice whipped together. Oh, here we go. Here comes the Bronco Buster. Here comes May. There it is, the Bronco Buster. I tell you what, that's the last thing I'm sure we want to shove in his face here tonight. Meanwhile, Mula working on the Godfather and gets the win. Mula wins. <laughs> Fabulous Mula and May Young get the win over the tag team champions. It's amazing what these ladies can do. It just shows that no matter how old you are, there's no substitute for being a couple of great wrestlers. Oh, they're just taking out the entire hoe train. Sugar and Spice, the champs. I, I like the music that they have anyway. But once again, I can't believe we lost to Sugar and Spice before. The next time it happens... The next time it happens, there's no way that the three boats are going down to Sugar and Spice again. I'm looking forward to seeing that match between Sugar and Spice and the Freebirds. But today the big winners are the fabulous Mula and Mae Young. Great to have them here in the APWF. And we look forward to seeing more of them here and in the WWF. Well, we got to get out of here now, Jeff Gorman. Thanks for having us. Uh, we're supposed to meet Eddie G over at the bar. We're going to have a couple beers and burgers. So uh, we'll catch you next time. Okay, thank you, Freebirds. And thank you very much for joining us on APWF Power Zone. And this is Jeff Gorman saying we will see you next time.